I have cancer. I'm thinking you and I could partner up. You want to cook crystal meth? You know why I do this. But I pray it's us who catches up to him and not those cartel boys from Juarez. I am conversely surprised that this, the show ever caught on at all. I, I am amazed I'm sitting here in, in London and, and, and being interviewed by uh, lots of uh, folks uh, from, from, from all over Europe uh, and, and uh, folks who, have, who are fans of the show and who represent fans of the show. I, I never thought our little series would get this far. I find it to be a little disorienting that the, the show has been as accepted and has been as appreciated as it is. That's Television has, has felt like a, a series of, sometimes uh, felt like a series of filmed plays, almost like theater put on film, but, but what I love about the potential for television is that it can be very movie-like, it can be very cinematic. And so uh, those images, like, like uh, Walter White standing in his underpants with a gun, you know, pointed toward the horizon with the beautiful red rocks around him, moments like that, uh, aided and abetted by our, our fantastic cinematographer, uh, Michael Slovis, uh, our, our visual storytelling at its best, and, 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 and that's what I got into the business to accomplish. Uh, some of our favorite moments, some of my writer's favorite moments and my favorite moments uh, in, in, in making this show have been moments where we could strip out dialogue. Brian Cranston was the, was the one actor I knew that I wanted to do the show with. The other actors were brought to me by uh, our excellent casting associates. But Brian, uh, in, in advance of, of, of me meeting and, and casting the other actors, Brian was the, the man I had in mind from the beginning. I had been fortunate enough to work with him years before on an episode of The X-Files. And I found him to be a, a marvelous uh, uh, collaborator on that episode. Uh, and he was just a very talented, very dramatic and intense and scary uh, actor with a lot of power behind him. I, I saw what a dramatic range he had, but mm -hmm. I didn't realize the, the, the potential for humor. And once I, I saw that, I knew this is a guy who can do anything, and I want to work with him again. And, and luckily for me, uh, many years later, uh, Breaking Bad came along, and when I was actually writing the pilot episode, I was thinking of Brian. Mm. How does it feel to, to, to be to be I've been so much involved in a show that's now being regarded as one of the greatest TV shows ever made. It's, it's it must fantastic. be a humbling experience. It's a humbling experience. It's a, it's a fascinating experience. It's, as I say, dizzying, disorienting, and it makes me um, worry for the future. To be, to be brutally honest, I, I am quite comfortable with failure, having had it uh, <laughs> very often in my career leading up to this. Success is something that's uh, a little more unknown to me, and uh, having it now with Breaking You're Bad. You're having a waltz moment, are you? Having, having, I'm, I'm, I'm having a moment uh, in which I, 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 should, I should be doing nothing but looking forward to the future, looking forward to my next project, but I, 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 I have to confess that I, I worry about the future a little bit. I worry that I won't uh, live up to, uh, that whatever I do next won't live up to expectations, and I have to... I have to, I don't know if I can completely get rid of that fear, that, that anxiety, but I have to move past it if I'm going to go on to do other things.